Hello and welcome to PA Academy. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw three different circles to touch each other when you are given the center of the circles. So this is what I mean. So if you are given three points, let's say this is point one, point two, and then point three. And you, these are the centers of the three circles. And you have to draw three circles with this center so that they will touch each other. So that means you are going to be having something like this for one circle. Another circle should be something like this. And then the third one. So that means this is the center of this particular circle. This is the center for this circle and this is the center for this circle. So you can see that in this freehand sketch now, the, what I've just done is not perfect. So you are not having a perfect circle. But how do you go about it making sure that it is looking neat and correct? So that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. So before we get started, if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, uh, please click on the subscribe button. You'll find it uh, at this, just below the video. You see that red button with the subscribe written on it. Please click on it and the little bell icon beside it so that you get notified when I release it, a new video. All right, thank you very much if you have just subscribed. If you are yet to, please click on it to help this channel grow. All right, so if you have subscribed, do let me know in the comment section. Just comment, I've subscribed. All right, thank you very much. So now let's get into this video. So now I'm going to pick three random points as the center of the circles that you are going to be drawing in this video. So let me just, so let me just pick this as one points let me pick another one here and let me just pick these three random points so so let me call this point a point b and then point c so you might not really be seeing the points but just follow along okay so yeah so i think you can see it now so what you are going to do next is to connect these three points together So you are going to connect it together so it will be looking like a triangle. So you are going to be having something like this. So next thing you have to do is to bisect the, uh, any two angles so that we can get the center of this of what is looking like a triangle now so that we can get the center so to do that you pick your compass at any convenience length of the compass so you draw an arc on line AC you draw an arc on line CB so now I want to just increase the length so from where this arc is touching line CB So I'll draw another arc. So from their point of intersection, so this right here is the point of intersection. I'll draw it down to point C. So what we've done to uh, point C, we are going to repeat it to point B. So you can just pick any of any two angles to do this. You still get the same results. So I'm on point B now, so I'll draw an arc like this, okay. So let me increase the length a bit. Uh, so what I'm, I'm doing now is how to bisect an angle. So I'm just following that principle, I've done a video on that, you can check the playlist on technical drawing, so you'll find the video there. All right, so that's it. And from that point, the point of intersection, I'll draw a straight line to point B. So now where these two bisector meet, so they are meeting at this point. They are meeting at that point. So that let me call that point O. So that represents the center of what you are lo looking at of this triangle that represents the center. The next thing we have to do is from this center O, we are going to draw okay, a line that is perpendicular you probably, let's say, from any of this side, maybe from line side CB or BA 
or AC. You are going to draw a line that is perpendicular and it will come and touch point O. So I'm going to be working with line CB. So I'm going to be drawing a line that is perpendicular to line to line CB and the, that perpendicular line will come and touch point, this point O. So you can use any side. So in doing this, I'll be using my rulers and my set square. So let me just, I want to get this line to this straight line to make sure that it's straight on my ruler so that I can introduce my set square. Okay. So now I have my set square. So my the set square is resting on the ruler. So I'll adjust it till it gets to the center to point O. So now that is the perpendicular line. So let me call this point, so point, we have A, B, C, let me call it point D. Let me call it point D. So this point, let me call it point D. Now from this point D, we are going to pick our compass. So from point C to D, it represents the radius of one of the circles that we are going to be drawing. So that's the radius of, uh, to one of the circles that we are going to be drawing. So I can just, I'll just pick my compass, place this point on point C, adjust the pencil to point D. And with that, I'll draw one, of, one circle. So we've been able to get one of the circle. So if you are finding value in this video, uh, please click on the thumbs up button to give this video a thumbs up. If you are really getting what I'm doing here or you are really enjoying this video, and getting value from it. So now I already have the first circle. And you can see this is the center, point C. Now let's look at point B. From point B to point D is the radius of the second circle. So we are going to do the what? We put place our compass here, adjust our pencil to point D. Point D. And from there, here we have our second circle. So I'm going through so that to make it bold so that you can see it. So there we have our second circle. So to draw the last circle, so now let's call those points where this particular circle is touching line AC. So let's call it let's call it point E. Point E, that is this point. So this particular point, point E. And we can as well use this point where this particular circle is touching line AB. So let's, uh, let's call this point F. So any of them, the length of AE and AF are same. So that's the radius for the third circle that we are going to be drawing. So you pick your compass and then you place it, the point on this point A and adjust it to point E. So once you are done with that, from that you draw the circle. And we already have our third circle. Alright. So this is a clearer view. So you can see that. So from this point A, B, and C, you can see we've been able to draw the circles such that they are touching each other. And remember, we're only giving the center of the circle. So this is how you go about it. So if you have any questions with regards to this video, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. If you find this video helpful, kindly click on the thumbs up button. Give it a thumbs up share the video and do subscribe to PA Academy. So you can also check our playlist on technical drawing for more technical drawing videos, for more videos on technical drawing. And check out our website paacademy.co. So with that, I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.